since mid-April and a supercell storm is brewing, preparing to bear down on southeast Queensland. In times like these, people turn to the internet and their TV weather channels to watch Mother Nature's blockbuster performances. But who are you going to call to capture the money shots of these epic spectacles? Storm Chasers. Apprentice storm chaser Isla is hitting the road for the first time with chasing veteran Justin Noonan. Look, Justin, I have to admit, I usually get my thrills from taking 12 items through the 10 items or less register at the supermarket, but this is really living dangerously. Why do you chase storms? I chase storms for the absolute thrill of it. I love Mother Nature and everything that it dishes up. However, there are dangers associated with it. I mean, I can tell you where a tornado will form, where hail will drop. The one thing I can't tell you is where lightning will strike. But never fear, you're with an experienced chaser, so I'll keep you safe and at a safe distance from the storm, and you should only ever go with experienced storm chasers. So how do you know where to go to look for a storm? Generally a couple of days out, uh, you're checking the weather models and you get a rough idea. And then the day of, you're checking live observations, satellite images and the forecast models. Pick a target area, basically drive to that target area, sit there and wait for initiation. We also get a lot of help from the community, the weather community and some of our meteorologist friends as we're going. A meteorologist is on the ground tracking barometric pressure, wind speed, direction and humidity as this supercell storm really begins to take shape. Okay team, looks like you're about to get some intercepts in the next few minutes. This beauty looks like it's heading your way in a northeasterly direction, so mount the camera gear and get ready for go time. Sounds like we're gonna get some ripper shots today, Isla. What are the ingredients that make up a perfect storm and what exactly is a supercell storm? Well, a supercell thunderstorm is basically a deep rotating updraft and it sustains itself for hours on end. And now, to get those type of thunderstorms, you need four key ingredients. And it's a great little saying called SLIM. It stands for shear, lift, instability, and moisture. Oh my god, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at the structure on that storm. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Out of nowhere, this supercell is now producing multiple tornadoes. Oh, look at the funnel developing, tornado developing. Halfway down, halfway to the ground. A tornado? Isn't a tornado like a violently spinning vortex of air? Absolutely it is. It descends from the mesocyclone in the supercell all the way to the ground. And right now it's halfway and it's coming down further. <laughs> I thought you'd have minutes, not seconds. Sorry team. Okay, you're now in prime position to be chasing the tornado that's falling just southwest of you, but you need to be careful not to run right across the others that are in circulation. <sighs> Stay safe, team. Do they lift really heavy things though? Like houses and light poles and even this car with us in it? Yeah, they can. They're extremely powerful, but never fear, never fear, you're with me. I'm an experienced chaser. I'll make sure we stay at a safe distance away from this beautiful developing tornado. Oh, what a day to come chasing with me. You really are an adrenaline junkie. I really am. I've been doing this 19 years. We're gonna get the shot you want and we're gonna keep you safe. Justin is determined to get as safely close as possible to the twister, but timing is imperative. Make the call, Justin. Stop now or you might miss it completely. Or worse, get caught in the one that is fast approaching. We're nearly in prime position. We're so close, I can smell it. What we're smelling is the ozone gas that lightning bolts produce when they split oxygen and nitrogen molecules in the air. It's nothing like the smell of these molecules recombining and interacting with other chemicals. It smells like chlorine. Justin, it's coming right for us. We're running out of time. Not on my watch, Isla. Buckle up. <laughs> oh! Will they make it out to safety or be sucked up by this twister like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz? Find out in next week's episode of Storm Chasers. Ah! And that's a wrap. Well done, guys. No one will even know we went in the middle of a storm. Good work, team.